Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in once again. I'm back with another Ragnarok related video, but not directly a Ragnarok playing video. Although, what you see on screen right now is exactly what we're going to discuss. No, not Acid Bomb, not Face Worm Queen, but the skill she is using, Earthquake. And this has been a very hot topic lately because we've been discussing how Earthquake works in IRO Renewal versus pre-renewal on Classic, as well as other servers throughout the world, private and other official international servers. So, uh, there's been a lot of confusion with how exactly Earthquake can be reduced, and it's actually very, very simple now on IRO Renewal. I know on KRO, and I am fairly certain on TRO uh, that, this is the Thailand server, um, that Earthquake can only be reduced now by one thing. Reduced, I use that word, uh, it can only be reduced by Ghost Ring armor. Uh, so the Ghost Ring card has to be in an armor, which will convert you to Ghost property, therefore making you 30% less susceptible to the damage of Earthquake. Earthquake is a forced, neutral, self-targeting magic attack AoE. So, it's not a ground targeting skill. Magnetic Earth can't block it. The only things that can effectively block the skill, not reduce, but just completely null and void it, are Magic Reflection and also Magic Immunity, which could be quite a few things for Reflection, but the biggest one that is going to help you survive is going to be a Maya card, the MVP, which is a 50% chance, 50% chance to reflect the magic attack. And uh, Earthquake is actually a three hit attack, so you do need to reflect each of the three hits if you are to survive it, unless you have enough health on a higher level character, a Royal Guard, or something like that, to survive more of the hits. Um, I know that on my GX, I can survive one of Kraken's Earthquake hits, but not two or three of them. On a Genetic, still pretty certain I can only survive one of them. Maybe two, I don't know. I used to hunt Kraken with a Maya shield, but his Earthquake's not really as strong as uh, Ifrit's or some others. So, um, before we get off topic, the blocking of the skill will be reflecting it, which in pre-renewal, you're able to reflect Earthquake onto the caster and do damage to that caster, which definitely is not possible in renewal. Um, when you reflect it, it doesn't actually reflect it, it just reflects the damage from you. So. If you reflect all three hits, or one, two hits from the Maya card, or any other magic reflection, such as a Frost card, and Cat on Nine Tails, or an Orlean server. So you can stack all those up you want for as much magic reflection as possible, and that will give you a chance to survive it. The magic immunity can only be one thing, Golden Thief Bug card. So. The Golden Thief Bug is a great way to survive it. It is the most expensive way, unfortunately, but that's how it goes. So, on to the off-topic things about Earthquake. There are a couple of strange things about Earthquake. So, we'll get into the topic of using the Face Worm Queen Leg to activate the Earthquake effect. And that's pretty interesting because the Earthquake from Face Worm Queen Leg, and I'm not positive if all Earthquakes work like this, I'm fairly certain they do in that they are self-targeting, which is a strange concept because I'll explain this in the only way that I know how to make sense out of it. So you're attacking yourself essentially with Earthquake. So the more damage that you can stack against what you're wearing versus what you're wielding as a weapon, wearing as armor, wielding weapon, will do a better damage. So say you want to do... I'm trying to think of a good combination for it to work. Okay, say we're doing Kraken, and you want to do the most damage to Kraken while still wanting to do the most damage with your Earthquake proc towards Kraken. So you're going to use a Wind Converter, obviously, for killing the water creature. You're going to have your water armor on. Okay, makes sense. And this is where things get a little bit crazy, because yes, you're attacking wind versus water, which is going to be great for your DPS. Your earthquake's going to be wind effect 
targeting water yourself. So that output is going to be, no matter what it's hitting, the damage is going to be calculated on you. But say you wear a deviling Garmin instead, which is going to be kind of a death wish against Kraken because storm gust and all that's going to hurt you really bad. But that earthquake that is now self-targeting will be amplified by the deviling because you're also targeting yourself, amplifying the elemental damage with that deviling card. So if you ever want to increase your earthquake output, just think things that could do damage to you will increase damage to whatever. So that's even crazier when you factor in wearing Hydra cards for Demi-Human amplification or Turtle General, which is why Turtle General is a very popular choice for the Phase Form Queen Lake, because the auto proc has a 20% damage to everything, not just boss, which is why the AK can be substantially less damage overall in a long health fight because that Earthquake proc is not amplified by the AK card. Unfortunately, even though it is hitting a boss monster, it's targeting you, and that's where it calculates the damage from. Oh, other things that are cool about Earthquake. I wrote down a couple things and emailed it to myself. So let's see if I forgot anything. Ah, yes, important things on a GX especially. More ways to avoid Earthquake damage, which should not be taken as super effective and legitimate ways to avoid the damage, but if you use Hallucination Walk, that gives you basically the same survivability as a Maya card. It has a 50% chance to deactivate magic from hitting you whatsoever. That counts towards the three hits. So Hallucination Walk, if you're lucky enough, you can take no damage from Earthquake if you reflect or deactivate the uh, all three hits. Never happens. Um, when I was testing this out against Ifrit to see what his damage was on IRL, uh, I was able to successfully, eh, successfully miss one with the uh, hallucination walk, but unfortunately his earthquakes did 98 and 99k per hit while he was in power up, and even one before that was doing it did 73k, and I don't know if I've ever been hit with earthquake out of power up. The only reason I know that the one hit me out of power up is because he ran out of power up. I think that you're always going to be hit by power up when you're fighting him because he does the sequence of two hand quicken and power up at the same time directly before he casts earthquake you have about one second after that two hand quicken goes off and that pretty much means he's going to be in power up this was two separate tests now today's test i was only ever hit by the power up one last night i was a little bit more upset that earth Quake defeated me so quickly that I had to go back. And I was also testing, does Deviling reduce it? No, it does not. But on Pre-Renewal, yes, it does. So things are very different. This is the explanation for IRO. And lastly, another crazy thing that you can do with GX is that if you have a great enough connection and you can time your backslides fast enough to hit backslide the exact moment that that Earthquake damage strikes your character, putting your character in some sort of virtual purgatory where you are immune to any damage that exists on screen, you can defend yourself that way, which should be seen in a video of Brazilian Ragnarok from uh, Zendif. If you look him up, there is, I'm pretty sure there's a video early on of him doing that technique where he ditches through that. But I also think that on Biara you can reduce earthquake damage with elemental, or with um, neutral resistance, like you could in pre -Vernal. And I guess we'll get into that now. So on other servers, and pre-renewal, and even in renewal for a short amount of time, I cannot confirm how long, but for the longest time it was assumed that neutral and boss resistances reduced earthquake. That was just fact. So I was told early on, Deviling, AK Helm, Alice Shield, all three of those things, definitely do defend against Earthquake on some servers throughout the world and on proven servers. Pretty much is a standard. Unfortunately, that change was made with the renewal and Ghost Ring is now the only thing that reduces it. So, 
that's pretty much as much as I can talk about Earthquake for one day. And I'm sure you can not bear to stand any more information about this stupid skill that is pretty much the bane of a GX's existence because we don't have the luxury like my beautiful genetic here of wearing a GTB. Well, we could, but that would just be really stupid. Um, one thing I did miss, I'm looking at this right out of the corner of my eye now, is that uh, Earthquake is a variable level skill. So there is a level 1 Earthquake, there is a level 10 Earthquake. Uh, Face Worm Queen is a great example. She's casting Earthquake level probably 1 through 5. I don't know how it really works. But you can stand like... If I was just like two more steps away, I would not need to be wearing a GTB and I would take no damage from it because that AoE is very small. It's like a 9x9 nine nine. instead of a screen wide, which is level 10, which is Ifrit, Kraken, Baphomet, Orc Lord. Not Wandering Purple Dragon. It's easier to count the ones who don't have screen wide earthquakes. It's the uh, incar incar uh, incarnation of Morok, the, the black sludge dude from Dimensional Gorge. Um, face worm in the white form, and the other one that we just said, wandering purple dragon, which isn't even a boss. So, um, that's that's it. That's all I can say for earthquake. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.